This is going to be a short little tutorial on how to use the pen tool. Uh, so again, like I talked about, if you're creating a straight line, just click once. But if you're actually creating a curved line, like on some of these other ones, you're creating and clicking and dragging to uh, create handlebars. Okay, so this is what it look like. And so let's go back to Canvas and get started with that. So again, this assignment here, again, it shows you the examples here. I want you to actually click on this link right here and it takes you to this pen tool kind of like a uh, practice uh, tool exercise kind of thing. So you're going to need to download that and that goes into your downloads folder. Okay. Once it downloads, then you can just open up your downloads folder and double click on the pen tool and that'll open up in Illustrator. So let's start off actually choosing the fill it needs to be nothing. Okay, so we just have the black stroke. Okay, so let's go to my pen tool. Okay, right here. And so this one is straight lines of the star. So I'm just clicking once on each of them. Each little point here. Click once. Click once. Click once. Click once. One time. And one. Click one. One, click one, and you see the little circle that I'm here, and that means I've closed in the path. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll over. That one's pretty easy, straight points. Now this one actually is creating curved lines. So you can actually just create curved lines. So we're going to click one and drag out to two. Now we're going to click three and drag out to four. Okay. And click five and drag out to six. And then seven and drag out to eight. Now this last one, you just click back on one and you drag out to two again. And that creates your perfect circle. Okay? Here you finish that. Now I'm gonna come down to well, I guess I'll have to do this one here. So this one we're gonna do is create with a curved line the other way. So again, we're gonna click one to two, three to four. Okay, it's gonna be the same on all these five. To six, you have to follow the numbers, and then seven to eight. Just a little quick little, I'm going to click on the selection tool just to get rid of my, uh, I'm not creating an actual shape there, so I'm going to click on my selection tool. And now this one, I click on the pin tool again, and this one's like, you're actually changing it. So when you change it, you have to change it with this little, um, this little cursor that looks like that. You'll see that when I do it. So click one, and drag out to two. Now this one, and click, just click once, click three and once. You just click and release. Now if I try and go over here, it's going to do this, but I don't do that. So I'm going to click Control Z to undo that. Now I need to click back on that cursor. So you see my little cursor changes that little um, upside down V underneath my pen tool, and it makes it to where I can actually create a point. Now I can click on this and drag it straight down. And then when I see it's creating my, it's, it's actually creating a sharp point there. Otherwise it actually continues the curve. And I see I missed up there. So control Z and just click, click once, click once here. And I let go of my mouse. So then I click back on this and to create my handlebar that goes down. And now I'm going to click Click one time, click once, let go of a mouse. Now, and then click back on that and drag down to eight. And it creates my points like waves. Otherwise it continues the curve. And then you just actually, then just click on nine. Okay. Now I'm gonna click on my uh, selection tool again, on my pen tool. And I will, to get rid of that and drag over to, oh, I did the other one. So let's go to the bottom one. All right, let's go to this one here. So again, we're going to click one to two. This one's a little different. So you actually click three to four. Now this one, what you have to do is just like says there, hold down the alt key. So my alt key, my cursor will change that complete upside down V, just like it shows you here. And then what I'm going to do is actually move that anchor point up there to where six. Now I can click and it creates that per point again. And so it creates that half of my anchor point goes the other direction. So I'm just modifying that. So the anchor points go both directions and it's continuing my curve, but I need to hold the Alt key 
and modify that anchor point that goes down, and now it's actually creating a point. And I can come down to tw 12, hold on Alt key, click on 13, same thing, drag it up there, and now I click on 15 and drag 16, okay? And now I click on my selection tool again, a pin tool, and then uh, go over to the next one. So again, this is a little different. So I click on one, drag up to two, and then three to drag to four. Now I want my corner again, so I have to click on that point again, just like it shows you right here. My cursor changes. So that way, that anchor point goes away. See the top anchor point and the bottom anchor point is gone now. Now I, click, now I can click straight lines. I click once again to create a straight line. Now I click on that little anchor point again, click and drag down to seven. So now I'm creating a curve line again. See, this is going to be a curve line. Okay. So I click eight and drag up to nine. Right here. Now it's going to see my curve line here. I want that to go away. I want to create a straight line. So I have to click back on that anchor point I just created to get that top. So that top anchor point, the top anchor point has gone away. Now I can create the straight line. And click 10. See if I do it, if I control Z here, if I click and drag, so if I don't click once first and I click and drag, it's going to create a curve from there. And I don't want to do that. Control Z. So I'm going to create a straight line. So I click and let go of my mouse. And then I have to click and drag that up. So again, there's two clicks there. And I click 13 and drag to 14. Okay. So again, this uh, instruction should kind of be pretty, help you a little bit more. But follow along with this video, and it's going to really help you um, be able to understand these uh, instructions here. So this one is a little bit different here. So there's a lot of different things we're going So on this, one, we're going to click on the pin tool again. So again, one to two, and then this is a little bit confusing there. So three to four, and now what I'm going to do is hold on my Alt key again. So my cursor has to change the complete upside down, or just like it shows there. And then click on, uh, click on the handlebar, and drag it out to six, right? And so my cursor is a little bit longer there. So now I can come over to this. I'm moving my mouse over so I can see. Click seven and drag out to eight, right there. Now hold the Alt key down. I can uh, drag this line bar and drag it around to number 10. Okay. And now I click on, move over a little bit. So click 11 and come up to 12. Yeah. And now I click on, so this one's too big. So what I do is click on the Alt key and drag hmm. yeah, I'll key, click 13 and drag it to 14 there okay so now it's got mine over here okay now I just I click on alt key again just like it says here click alt key and I click out there to 16. So that should match up my, just follow along with those dash lines there. So now I can click on the selection tool. Okay. And those little lines you see there, uh, cover up sheer lines should actually match the dash lines there. Okay. And now we're actually going to turn it in. And so it's turn the Illustrator file. So click on save as, save on computer, right? And I'm going to name this, you just name it as pin tool. That's fine. It's a pin tool, and if it's you say you replace, say okay. Now I'm going to go back to Canvas. This canvas is here, and click my pin tool, and I actually then um, I will go to my start button here, and I'll go to my choose a file, and I click my pin tool that's in my downloads, and I click open, and submit a summit. So again, you have to turn the Illustrator out. Thanks for watching.